Ely Stadium stands tall and proud on Middle Avenue, one mile south of the new Elyria High School. In 1926, Mr. William Ely, grandson of Elyria's founding father, Heman Ely, and one of Elyria's most prominent citizens, donated a significant amount to erect a concrete stadium at the athletic field. The plan called for construction of a stadium for 3,000 people, an improved football field, baseball diamond, practice field, a cindered track, and parking space. Lockers and dressing rooms were to be built underneath the seats. Planners had the foresight to include facilities for showers, restrooms, offices, and a press box with a bird's eye view for reporters covering the games. The structure was to be called Ely Stadium, and it was built, just as instructed, in a timely way so that the first game was played at Ely Stadium on October 8, 1927. It was billed as one of the finest football fields in the country, making history as one of the first Ohio fields to install lights for night football. Illyria played Sandusky in the first night game on September 18, 1930, and Illyria won. Ely Stadium has stood the test of time and weathered the elements of seasonal change and harsh northern Ohio winters, though not without serious wear. Athletes, coaches, fans, and residents have long seen the need for a new facility. On November 8, 2016, residents approved a ballot issue to replace their aging stadium and all of the district's elementary and middle schools in Elyria. It's a new day for Ely Stadium, Elyria Schools, and the city of Elyria. Architects and builders are ramping up for this multi-million dollar project and the team will break ground on Phase 1 of the new multi-sports complex this year. Phase 1 includes a new turf, football, soccer field, a new track, practice fields for sports and the band, concession areas, parking, and a locker room and weight room facility. The plan calls for elements of a Phase 1 opening in 2018 with construction ongoing. Ely Stadium has been an epicenter of the community for 90 years and home to football, band, track and field, baseball, tennis, and most recently soccer. For decades it served as the meeting place for athletes of the Special Olympics and it's the ceremonial site of the Elyria High School commencement program. In its new grand modern state, Ely Stadium will again shine like no other and bring the community of Elyria another century of proud tradition and exhilarating moments. Second down and seven for Elyria. Handoff goes to Weber. He's got a hole. Now tries to cut to the outside. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. Touchdown, Kenny Weber. Individual effort for the pioneer tailback. Takes him to the end zone, and this game is tied at 6 for Kenny Weber, his second touchdown of the season. Connor right up the middle, he's got a huge ball, and he is gone, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Pioneers. Jordan Connell takes it to the house, and Elyria High now leads it by a score of 13 to nothing. Five and a half minutes to go here in the first half of play. Boy, what a burst of speed by Jordan Connell, and that is now his fifth touchdown on the season. He had four in last week's route over Amherst.